Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is a Sunday in FIFA Ultimate Team. Weekend League sell-off is full effect, is in full effect. The market is just still dropping all over the place. SBC fodder is down. Players uh, out of packs are down. It's all just going down as everybody is focused on the two-for-one packs, the 81-plus player picks, and the new SBCs that EA is dropping. We had another showdown SBC set released yesterday on Saturday, so I want to talk about that and then also just kind of give a slight outlook for where I think this market could be headed today with stuff continuing to drop and the focus being on those 81 plus player picks along with um, the SBCs you can craft from it. And as we near the end, I guess you could say, of this very short promo of Foot Player Days, what am I expecting to happen? Because a lot of people are going to be done with the SBCs. They're going to see these prices low. I think a lot of people are going to be ready to invest and try to make some coins and, you know, specifically watch these cards potentially rise as we head on out uh, from this Foot Player Days promo, because that is what happened last time that we had this promo. And I want to show you guys a couple cards right now. Let's start it off with just kind of looking ahead into today on Sunday. Um, looking at a couple cards, I'm using Foot Freeze as an example. Um, a couple cards that actually, you know, went down when Foot Player Days was released with the two-for-one packs as even out-of-pack specials that dropped big drop-offs in the beginning of March, right? This Usman was 1.3. Foot Player Days dropped him down to 1.13. He rebounded back to a little over 1.2, and it was actually probably higher than this, you know. Um, this is just the daily average price on that Saturday before we, of course, you know, dropped down a little bit more in the next week after that. But there was a decent amount of market rise on some of these, you know, popular out-of-pack special cards that got sold because the focus was on other things um, after the first time we had foot player days. And especially with, you know, the new cards that are in packs, this Encore squad uh, bringing a lot of supply to the market. I think that actually maybe put a little bit more coins on the market than before with the two-for-one packs. Maybe just a little bit. We'll see. Um, but... I think that they've been releasing pretty decent high amounts of pack quantities with these two for one packs, and that is putting coins on the market. I know people are expending a hundred thousand coins to go and get a pack, uh, or you know, people are opening this with coins, but a lot of this again is with FIFA points, so it's almost just like an influx of actual coins hitting the market because uh, people are getting two packs instead of one. So I do think there's potential um, for EA. And for this market to have a nice little bit of rise. And that's kind of maybe what EA is doing. Also, I just kind of thought of this. Um, but this might be EA's kind of setup for, you know, putting some coins in people's clubs. Hey, spend some FIFA points. We have a couple out-of-pack special cards in packs. Put some FIFA points on. Get two packs for the price of one. And... We're going to release an Icon SBC next week, which is going to give you more coins to maybe go up and do some that Icon SBC and then to drain those coins back out of your club before we head into Team of the Season. I don't know. That's just kind of me theoretically thinking here. But what is happening right now is a lot of coins are being putting onto the market and people are, you know, they're going to use those coins to do some SBCs. But also, I feel like that's going to find its way into hopefully making the market rise a little bit after Tuesday, and I think today on Sunday might be some of the low days for out-of-pack special cards that have dropped off a decent amount. So we'll talk about that a little bit too. But of course, I need to talk about this because the market is dropping because of these two SBCs, but this one specifically, David Neres getting himself a showdown card with incredible juice just on this you know, non-upgraded version, five-star skills, four-star weak foot, 88 Neres, also a 89 rated Edin Dzeko card. And this guy has all the hype right now on Fulpin, right? Take a look at the thumbs up on this Neres card. 6,300 thumbs up. Unbelievable amount of hype on this Neres card. Brazilian links makes him semi-linkable. Of course, the Air Divisi has been a very special card friendly this year. So there's some, you know, Robin, you know, you have Kleiber off chemistry. You've got a lot of those squad foundation players. Anthony, future stars exploded. You guys know that. Link invest, perfect link to this Neres card. But the reason why this guy is getting so much hype is because five-star skills, the stats that he has, this dude is literally stat for stat almost equivalent to Raheem Sterling foot birthday and he has more stats than Neymar so all left wings are getting destroyed because this is only 160k craftable even with the player picks and you know everybody's getting on that one this Jekko is even cheaper 130,000 coins this one deserves more thumbs up, in my opinion, because this is like Rule Breakers Harry Kane kind of vibes for me, because look at the agility and balance upgrade that this Jekko got from his gold card, right? Of course, he got the five-star weak foot. He got plus 44 balance and plus 32 agility 
from his gold card. So this is probably the most usable Ed and Jekyll card you're going to see in FIFA ever this year, ever. I don't know if Ed and Jekyll's ever had a really sick and usable FIFA card, especially for the way the meta is in this game. So just watch out for that one. I think both of those SBCs are not terrible value, but specifically the David Neres, everybody is going after. Everybody's huge IX fans, or most people are going to be huge IX fans come this Thursday. And again, a reminder that it doesn't matter which team goes through the next round. For these showdowns, it's all about that one game. If, the, if one team wins, that player gets a plus two boost. If it's a draw, only plus one for both. So we're hoping, a lot of us are hoping that David Neres can get that 90 rated sauce and jump up to uh, a hugely boosted card at 90 rated, which would be really, really dope. But again, back to the market, you see a lot of these special cards have dropped off, you know, pretty large amounts in price, uh, especially today after seeing the content that has come out. Lozano, 478. This Ub is 250. That's really, really low. Goretzka is under 400K. This Benz, or Benzema actually went up today because he scored a goal in a, a Classico. He is back down. You know, Sun, Holland, they're kind of chilling there. They're not really moving too much. Sun actually was a little unaffected today um, by the left-wing panic. But look at this Mbappe, 5.8 mil for this card. That is down. Bruno at 2.8. Van Dijk was under 2 million just a minute ago. So you have cards icon moments are down a decent amount uh again and looking through some of these these promo teams 166 for fatih newhouse who was 140 on thursday is now 100k flat this reina card has dropped with sancho Saka's back under 1.2 tap Sobo was almost 600k earlier this weekend bastoni was 240 ruben diaz i sold as a thursday flip at 277,000 coins he's now down at 229 so a lot of this market has really really dropped off because again the focus is on those SBCs. But as I talked about, this market now has some more coins or is going to have some more coins heading out of this week. So once the focus maybe transitions away from the SBCs this weekend back to the market and maybe some people having coins and trying cards out, what I would really watch out for is honestly some of the stuff to pick back up. Now, of course, we're getting close to team of the season and um, I have a slight theory in the back of my mind if they're going to run team of the season like they did last year, which I'm not really expecting them to, but if they were going to start it as early as they did last year, we could see a loading screen for team of the season as early as this next Friday. So I'm not trying to cause panic, um, but I'm just kind of putting that out there in your mind that team of the season is not as far away as you think. We're going to be talking about that um, this coming week if we don't have any information on it already from EA Sports, because that is something that could be coming very soon um, in FIFA. So until then, though, I do think you could see a decent amount of a market rise, whether that be on fodder or whether that be on the out-of-pack specials. 250 for this Umakano is crazy, right? He was literally 300,000 coins earlier today. If I see anything lower than 250, I'm going to snag it. And I'm honestly going to buy up this one at 250 because I think that I'm going to be able to sell this probably somewhere around the likes of 280,000 coins on a fluctuation when he gets rare sometime uh, Sunday morning because I think that 250 was just way too cheap. Anyways, um, that's probably a, a good little flip happening right there. Anyways, um, that's why like that's the kind of stuff that I would expect to go back up right now. One area I would watch for a quick rise. This is going to be a place on the market where a lot of people are going to look to get involved probably today. So the quicker that you get involved in this, the better road to the finals. Road to the finals are going to get bought up. They're going to start to get looked at again. This Alaba was down to 375 at his absolute lowest yesterday on Saturday around the content drop just because people selling when they saw Nerez come out and doing player picks. But th these games are on Tuesday and Wednesday of this next week. So the only thing I see really pushing a lot of this stuff uh, down a lot more this t today or tomorrow on Monday would be an Icon Upgrade SBC. And to be honest with you, if it hasn't come out now, what? Who am I to say that it's going to be coming, right? Who am I to sit here and tell you that it's going to be coming soon? I'm just going to sit here and say, I know everybody wants it. We know everybody wants it. Uh, and we're just going to wait on it. We're just going to wait on it. We're going to wait EA out, see what they do. Um, because that's kind of the only thing we can do right now. Because fodder just keeps dropping as well. Because every single day we have these two for one packs with no demand for the really high tier in the SBC market. You just see this stuff drop even lower and let's take a look at that right now because we have got 89 rated players under 60k some of these guys were even lower earlier 87s in the 30s low 30s 88s are in the 45k range i think that one of the craziest things for me today was 
And this is almost happening daily, right? 86s earlier today were 23,000 coins. Now they're back up to about 25, 26. So if you got in on any of these, GG, uh, because it's already started to bounce back a little bit into Sunday, which Sunday has been an Icon SBC day in the past. So we'll see if they drop it today. I'm not expecting it. And if I say I'm not expecting it, then maybe they'll do it. So EA Sports, I'm not expecting it, all right? Don't do it. Don't do it. Put it out. Okay, don't do it anyways. Uh, just watch the fodder because I think people are going to get interested in this. Uh, and it, it already is starting to kind of bounce back. But 84 is at 7K is really cheap. 85 is at 13, 14 is really cheap as well. So just like we've seen every single day this week, the, the new day comes and people are like, hey, it could be Icon SBC today. So they start buying up fodder, but then it does not come. And then two for one packs come and then the stuff drops. So if you're trading with this stuff and you're just playing off of the hype of people thinking there's going to be Icon SBCs, <laughs> I love the excuses that people make every single day. Uh, when they're like, yeah, man, Icon SBC is going to come today. It has to, right? It's been, it has to. It's been too long. Fodder's too cheap. EA Sports, you've supplied fodder. Well, you know what? It's their game. They can do whatever they want. They're in control. So I just have a complete laugh. Uh, I just think it's funny to see people always try to predict what EA is going to drop for content when in reality, uh, we... We don't know when they're going to drop an Icon Moments SBC. There's no way to really like track that and to know that. You know, they have been following a schedule in the past before, but that's definitely out the window uh, as of right now. So could it come soon? Maybe. Am I going to bank on it? Am I investing in it? No, because that's, I don't like relying on EA for that sort of stuff. That's why I've been trading with all of these cards that you see here, right? Special cards, icons, undercuts, fluctuations, because that is more guaranteed uh, to me than, you know, trying to invest in this fodder stuff. But yeah, I just kind of wanted to make this big conversation today and talk about uh, some of these out of packs cards that could go up a decent amount. And again, if you're going to be looking at some stuff that could be low today on Sunday, if you're not expecting any sort of big time icon SBC uh, to come out, I mean, look at how low some of this has dropped. Tiago 387. Uh, I mean, this guy was 430K, um, you know, a couple days ago, right? This Anaki Williams literally on Saturday morning was 330,000 coins and he is down under. 300k right now saturday morning look 330,000 coins for this anaki williams down to 298 parasitch was like 380 down to 340 he was 315 earlier today uh vardy is down a decent amount lucas is actually up with the brazilian links so really if you're watching panic selling today some of that brazilian link uh you know icons or stuff like that could be a really good watch and just your really meta cards in general right i watched this in babu today fluctuate from 340 to 390 this conte has gone from 1.15 down to almost a million coins flat uh, this Berchiche is down from like 175 where he was on the weekend. So, you know, I would really, really watch a lot of this stuff. Remember what's what's hyped and what's the good links are right now. Um, and, and what is just, I know, hyped up in this game at the moment. So um, the only thing that I could see, all the stuff that is in packs, um, you know, those foot encore players like Kamavinga, like um, the future, who's the future star player? Oh, it's Kamavinga. Uh, like, let's say... The road to the final hazard that is in packs as well. Messy team of the group stage. Kimmich's inform, which by the way, I think this inform Kimmich is ridiculously cheap. I think this is, it's nuts how cheap this card is. Uh, it's probably a little bit difficult to actually find it on the market because, um, I don't know if you'd use the basic chem style or whatever, but uh, yeah, here's a 92 Kimmich at 166,000 coins. But I mean, this card, one of the best CDMs in the game, uh, I have a team of the year and it's cracked. This one's probably good too, you know? But uh, this card being 166K just seems really, really cheap, right? And Kamavinga, for once, being a 1.3 million coin card, now down in the one point, what is he? he's not even, he's not, he's like 790K or something like that right now. Like a lot of these cards just seem really, really cheap. Could they start rebounding? Yes, I do think there is potential for these cards to rebound up a little bit. And I think people are going to invest in them. Specifically, Road to the Final Hazard, specifically um, Gucci Headband, I think those are the two players from this team that are going to be invested in. Now, Hazard was like 760 earlier today. Right now, he's like 789, 780. So he's maybe up a little bit. But of course, this could be potentially going to a 93 if Real Madrid can get past their second leg and continue on to the next round of tournament. He'll get upgraded this next weekend on Friday or Saturday. So that is one thing to kind of keep a watch out for, as we mentioned, with like the players that are playing in Champions League games or Europa League games. Um, even like a kanji, right? I, I showed you guys a kanji. They're losing to City 
Um, but this guy was 400K earlier in the weekend. I mean, this at 349,000 coins is really, really cheap for me. So I think you're gonna see some of this, um, the road to the final stuff start to pick up first because that's the stuff that's gonna be happening first uh, during the week. So that's 100% a place where I would look uh, on the market right now. And a lot of these Brazilian icons with the links to the Nerez are up. Uh, and, you know, I bought this for 610K today. Um, this Socrates was around 1.2. He's still about 117. Ronaldinho, you know, these guys are moving around and there's panic selling and stuff like that. But there's also a lot more demand for those cards. So I would 100% keep an eye on some of these Brazilians with the hype and with the links that they do have. And of course, just your, your meta and your rare cards that are out of pack specials. That's the places where I'd be looking on the weekly sell off today. And I think that you can feel decently confident about a market rise coming back uh, later in this week. Because again, there's a lot of coins that have been put on the market. And I think once the, once the hype kind of turns away from SBCs, you'll see people maybe go out and want to buy some cards a little bit, unless there's uh, some sort of panic for an icon SBC or team of the season coming with any of that information. But icon moments would be one area of the market that I'd be semi interested in too. They have been supplied a decent amount and they have dropped down. Uh, you know, like this Figo is down in the one threes uh, earlier today. Drogba is down one seven. So these cards are down a decent amount. 1.11 for Schweini. Oh my goodness, that is low. So you're seeing a lot of prices like this on the game that are just down, that have dropped. Uh, and, you know, some of those could bounce back up a little bit later in the week as people have coins to go out and to buy cards to link uh, maybe new SBCs or whatever that they have done or and completed. So that's kind of where I'm feeling with this market. I do feel like today on Sunday, you're going to have another culmination of um, panic selling, maybe a little bit of that before 6 p.m., depending on the content that we get, but we can link sell off specifically and also these two for one packs. But I feel like after today on Sunday, even though the Foot Player Days promo is not over until uh, Tuesday at 6 p.m. and we'll maybe even have more uh, two for one packs on Monday, I feel like since it's Sunday, there's going to be people that look to buy cards today. So you might see a little bit more competition, but I also think you're going to see prices continue to drop down a little bit as well. So my plan personally is I'm going to be staying pretty liquid and just quick flipping in and out of cards uh, because that's my jam, right? And that's what's made me a decent amount of coins this week. I don't actually, I think the weekly transfer profit leaderboards have reset, but it was a really, really solid week for me in terms of the money that we made this week. We made almost about 1.5 million coins in total this week, which was, it's, it's really, really good, right? Starting the week on like a um, 2.8 to 2.9 million coin budget, moving that budget up a tremendous amount. Uh, and actually still having about 800K, even with the prices dropping of fodder, uh, it's just sitting on my transfer list as well. We're doing pretty good for coins in the account, man. We really had a solid week and I want to continue building on that success as we head into team of the season because we're very, very close. And um, that's why you don't really see me spamming the 81 plus player picks is because I'm trying to grind my account to get up to the highest potential that it can be as we near team of the season, because that is such a huge time for packs and SBCs. And there's going to be tons of opportunities to make coins during team of the season. Uh, but I want to also roll into that promo with coins available so that I can be participating in doing upgrade packs and stuff like that. So that's just kind of how I'm feeling about the market right now, boys. Another day of foot player days is coming today. Um, we've had SBCs for the past two days with the showdowns uh, of the first two days of this promo. So they have said that themed objectives and SBCs would be a part of the content that they're dropping for foot player day. So we'll see if they do continue that uh, today with another player SBC or if they will finally drop uh, whatever icon SBC that they want to drop on FIFA Ultimate Team. So definitely watch for a little bit of a bounce back on the market, maybe starting tonight, even as people start to invest in that stuff, unless something crazy happens, uh, on the game today. But that's kind of how I'm feeling. Again, just a lot of the hype and a lot of the focus is on those player pick packs, which is draining a lot of coins because people are trying to complete SBCs. But once the player picks go away on Tuesday, after that, Whoop, because if there's nothing else to do, you're going to see the market rise, kind of like we saw um, as the foot birthday promo ended on Thursday and on Friday just a couple days ago. And uh, the saw the market go pretty high there. But now we're back with this. And uh, we are seeing the market drop again, because again, those 81 plus player picks, people go bananas for those SBCs. So that's the video for today, boys. If you did enjoy it, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Account. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.